this evening, the blast from the past celebrates its annual reunion with more than 600 members taking the deal. Jessica Martinez, Longhorn Band War Major from 2018-2019, leads us this evening as the alumni band begins our show with a rousing performance of Mark Grandioso. With over 3,000 members worldwide, the Longhorn Alumni Band supports the University of Texas and the Longhorn Band through year-round playing appearances, fundraising, and mentoring. Since its founding, the Alumni Band has awarded more than $1 million in scholarships to outstanding students in the Longhorn Band, including over $257,000 presented this fall to 104 deserving students. If you want to support the Longhorn Band, you can make a memorial or honorary contribution to the scholarship program or invite a group from the Alumni Band to perform at your event by visiting the Alumni Band website. Officers of the Alumni Band for 2019-2020 are President Heather Lolly, President-elect Jeannie Uturi, Vice President Jolene Tillerson Peters, the immediate Vice President is Jeff Sloan. The Alumni Band now continues the show with the traditional favorite, March of the Longhorn. Legendary director Vincent Ardenino and his wife Jane organized this group in 1964. The first group that gathered in the end zone and watched the Longhorn Band perform. Over the ensuing 56 years, we have grown to what you see before you today. A performing group made up of nine decades of proud Longhorn band members and an indispensable part of Longhorn influence on this Longhorn band as a student, a director, and longtime supporters felt in so many ways. He graduated from Austin High School. He enrolled at the University of Texas in 1941. He immediately became a member of the Longhorn band, eventually serving as a student coordinator, drum major, and ultimately the director from 1950 on to 55. With the assistance of his father, he then acquired the very first dedicated space on this campus for the Longhorn band. He's the one that brought Big Bertha to campus in 55. He created student scholarships, a steadfast support of the Longhorn Band and the Longhorn Alumni Band. The Longhorn Band family is eternally grateful, as all Longhorns are, to Mr. Crockett and can think of no more fitting recognition for his contributions over all these decades than the band members assembled on the field tonight and you. Please, help the Longhorn Band family celebrate Milton Crockett's life now with a Texas-size ovation for this incredible Longhorn Band. Football needed just six more years to capture their second crown in 1969. Led by head coach Darrell Royal, the Longhorns entered the season ranked number four in the nation. Texas had wins over number eight Oklahoma, Rice, SMU, Baylor, and TCU. But in the last game of the regular season, all eyes were on Fayetteville, Arkansas, as the top two teams in the nation met. Texas overcame Arkansas late in the game on a dramatic fourth and three play that resulted in a game-winning touchdown and a 15-14 Texas victory. Entering the Cotton Bowl as the AP National Champions, the number one Longhorns hosted number nine, Notre Dame. 
It took some dramatics, but Texas won 21 to 17 to secure the 500th win in school history. After the contest, Coach Royal honored Freddie Steinmark with the game ball as Texas celebrated its second national championship in program history. Jerry Junker leads us all in the eyes of Texas. <laughs> 